Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. If this is your first time watching, hi, my name is Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel I talk about all things luxury. I do have a soft spot for handbags but I talk about everything in the greater sphere of luxury and also with the occasional like fashion related content thrown in there. I film comparison videos, vlogs like come shopping with me vlogs, collection videos, hauls and all that good stuff. So if that sounds like a thing I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Also thumb up this video if you enjoy it and yeah I guess click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I upload every Wednesday and I would love to have you back. <laughs> So today's video is a double unboxing of two Longchamp bags that I recently purchased and I figured while I show you the items that I got I'm just gonna quickly whisk through the other Longchamp bags that I already own and yeah maybe show you some comparison and also mod shots so you get an idea of how big they are and yeah, what kind of varieties Longchamp has. All the items that I'm showing you come from the Longchamp Le Pliage line in the nylon material. I really like the Longchamp bags for work in particular. I've been wearing, wait a second, hold please. <laughs> I've been wearing this Longchamp bag for work um, Yeah, ever since I started my actual corporate job, which is like one and a half years ago already. And before that, this was my everyday bag for um, yeah legal training. So I've had this for three years at this point, about three years, which is insane, um, but Slowly but surely you can definitely tell that it's seen better days. I think you might be able to see that you have some fading like I don't know end corner wear definitely. I mean it's still in okay condition but the fading and corner wear does bug me a bit but the most annoying part which I guess you would also be able to yeah, repair or yeah take into Longchamp to have them repair it is that the zipper is still functioning but the zipper pull kind of um, yeah, disappeared on me so I always have to kind of um, yeah stick my finger inside the zipper thing and then pull it like that instead of just having a zipper pull so that annoyed me a bit and in general I mean as I said it's seen better days by the way this is the Longchamp Le Pliage Neo so yeah usually the Longchamp bags look like or like the original design looks like this so um, obviously they come in a variety of colors, but the usual design is colored um, nylon material and then this like brown leather shade in terms of the handle and the flap right here and these two like tabs on the side of the zipper. I'm not, I mean, I won't ever let go of this one because I got this for my 18th birthday and it has my name yeah, embossed and like blind embossing right here so that's kind of special but apart from the size being obviously the smaller size let me quickly oh I hope you can see it <laughs> maybe like this I mean it's definitely smaller and it doesn't fit my laptop so that's one of the main reasons that I don't ever wear this bag basically um, and other than that I'm not that much of a fan of the combination uh, with like the yeah brown shade of uh, leather so yeah just to compare this is the smaller size i'm gonna insert the details of the bag on the screen and in the description box this is the smaller size of the regular or like um, og design of the le pliage and this is the large in the neo style so the first bag that i'm unboxing in today's video is a replacement for this baby because i figured it's about time that i retire this one I guess I'm gonna keep it for like I don't know grocery shopping but I think it was about time that I got a new one that looked a little more polished and yeah not as worn down as this one for work so it's still in its plastic wrapping so I hope everything's okay with the bag because I ordered this one online and I think the return window is long past but yeah just gonna hope for the best it does look quite similar to the Longchamp Le Pliage Neo, but it's a little different and it was a little cheaper. I think this one is like 115 euros. If that's incorrect, I'm going to insert the correct price on the screen. This one is the Longchamp, maybe it does have a tab right here. Yeah, 
Um, long short le pliage black shoulder bag L recycled. I think on the invoice it said le pliage green. Um, yeah, I think green because it's recycled nylon or recycled plastic and because of the accent green right here, which I'm not that much a fan of. And to be honest, I didn't really realize that um, you had this like neon green detail on but yeah only on the sides of those tabs on either side of the zipper which i can live with but if i had realized that it came with this like neon accent i might have just gone for this one this cost me 105 euros and i think one more difference from the previous one is that you have um, you might be able to see maybe not i yeah here you have the uh, Longchamp logo, which is like the running horse embossed in the back, which is quite a fun detail. And it's really subtle, obviously, because it's black on black. Yeah, but other than that, I think they are basically the same. And this is what the zipper is supposed to look like um, if it's not uh, yeah, lost, basically. So here we are. And it's a lot easier to open and close the zipper if you actually have a zipper pull to do so. Um, on the inside, they are super simple, just a black hole. And you have this like, yeah, not a zipper compartment, just a slip compartment, which is quite generous in size. And I think it's a little bigger than on the Le Pliage Neo. I hope this video isn't like all over the place, um, in particular because the bags look so similar. So I'm going to do my best to specify which bag I'm currently talking about. Anyway, let me quickly take this out. Okay, so this is the old, my old one, so the Le Pliage Neo, the regular one. And on here, also black hole on the inside. By the way, sorry if I'm looking a little above the camera, I have... Um, a mirror strategically placed so I can see what you're seeing basically so I just want to make sure that everything that I'm showing is on camera anyway <laughs> sorry about that so on here you have again a black hole and the like slip compartment is on the front of the bag and it's a lot smaller this is about as low as it gets when it when I put my hand in there um, which was fine. You can definitely fit a um, card holder and a pochette clay, which is yeah my combination of uh, yeah my wallet situation. Both were able to fit inside here quite easily. But when you compare it to the Le Pliage Green right here, this is the front. You don't have a slip compartment right here, but the slip compartment is on the back and a lot deeper when you look at it. I can fit my entire hand in there and stretch it out. And I think that's great because it's a lot roomy still I mean as I said I was able to fit my uh, pochette clay and my card holder both inside the smaller slip compartment on the Le Pliage Neo but I definitely prefer the bigger size um, slip compartment on the Le Pliage green and yeah other than that they are basically the same and yeah these bags just are absolute workhorses as I said this one has been my work bag for yeah, one and a half years and before that I stuffed it to the brim and beyond so I actually am really surprised that it's held up as long as it has and that the zipper hasn't broken on me before. I mean the zipper is still fully functioning it's just the zipper pull that's yeah that I kind of lost but yeah other than that oh and if you're not familiar you can fold the Le Pliage bags up and on the bottom or like the back of the bag if it's unfolded you have this like button and then you just fold it up and use the flap of the bag that you yeah, would usually use when you open and close the bag to secure it and then you can easily store the Le Pliage bags like that which is always great. I also wanted to quickly show you this one same size and it's yet another variation obviously it's a different color and again tone on tone the colored nylon and yeah the leather parts in the same color as the body of the bag which I love. This is the same size as the previous ones but from yet another uh, sub line. I think this uh, line of the Le Pliage is called the Le Pliage Club. And you have the same kind of embroidery on here as on the green line. 
but uh, on here it's contrasting so yeah body of the bag is like this blush rosy color and the horse rider is either black or like a really dark blue so yeah that's great and other than that let me quickly open the bag up same kind of layout um, the inside isn't black but white which is i mean obviously it's a lot easier to get it dirty or anything like that but it's also a lot easier to find your stuff inside um, yeah because it's not a black hole but a white hole and in terms of the slip compartment, this is um, parallel to the Le Pliage recycled green one. So you have the bigger slip compartment on the back right here, which is great. So I already knew that I preferred the bigger slip compartment on the back right here. So yeah, I sometimes wear this one to work as well, but um, black is just so easy. You don't have to think about matching it with your coat or yeah, any kind of outfit just chuck everything in your black le pliage and you're ready to go but i also like this one because yeah the color is quite pretty and i'm definitely i'm going to try to wear it more often come spring and summer yeah those were my le pliage in the large size in different sub categories of the le pliage line and now i'm going to show you the second le pliage bag that i purchased and that's from a completely different line still nylon but yeah i'm just gonna unbox it and then you're going to see what I'm talking about. This one I purchased in store so it came with this beautiful shopping bag and there we go. I just love the fact that you can yeah fold these up and store them super like space efficient so in particular when you see how big this bag actually is when you unfold it but this is how it came. So Difference number one, obviously the handles are a lot shorter. No way you will be able to fit it over your shoulder, but crook of the arm is definitely an option. And um, yeah, it's basically a, I guess a weekender. The lady in store told me that you are able to take this on a plane and have it as your carry on hand luggage. I don't know if that's, I mean, depending on how lenient the people at the airport are in terms of the measurements, because if you pack this one to the brim, apart from it being super heavy if you do, it might exceed the like usual size restrictions, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, and yeah, the special thing about this is obviously it says Longchamp down here and Hamburg right here, which is special because I am from Hamburg. I feel like I've talked off your ears about me coming from Hamburg um, every time I mention the Paris Hamburg Chanel Mitida collection so I'm gonna not ramble on about that but yeah I really like the yeah representation and you can certainly fit a lot inside these. This is my first uh, Longchamp of this size but I figured for an overnight bag it would just be perfect and it was even on sale. The original price was I think 120 which I would have been fine with paying but it was actually 30% off so I only paid 84 euros which i think is amazing and i'm so excited to be wearing it for the first time um i guess the next time that i'm visiting my family so yeah really happy with this purchase and i guess we're gonna cut to the mod shots right now but before we do thank you so much for watching i really hope this was helpful if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up that would help me out a lot and also consider subscribing turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos i upload every wednesday on all things luxury handbags yeah i mean longchamp was more contemporary handbags but i don't discriminate i mean i do love chanel and Saint Laurent and yeah just check out my other videos if you're more into the luxury handbag category but yeah given that I just purchased two new Longchamp bags in quite close succession to one another I figured I'd film a video about them and yeah I guess let's cut to the try on clips forever 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 This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment.
Like it's a